Okay, we're looking at all the properties of angles. That's all the rules of how to calculate finding unknown angles. There's rules that apply. Now, one of the rules is if you're given a triangle, we're going to label this A, B, C. It doesn't matter what size the triangle is. The sum of all the interior angles in a triangle will always equal what? Does anyone remember from 180 degrees? What does the word sum mean? What operation? Addition. Addition. So if I add, look here please. If I add, look here, angle A, whatever this is, plus angle B, whatever this is. These are interior, that means they're inside the triangle. And then angle C, the three angles. If we add them all together, the total is what? Yep, A plus B plus, I want you guys copying this down, C equals 180 degrees. That's the first rule, okay? You know that if you're given a triangle, all three angles add up to 180. Here's an example, okay? We're given angle A is 73. Shh. Angle B is 76 degrees. We have to find angle C. So, any ideas on how we would find this? Figure through. Pardon? Um, minus it from 180. Exactly. We add these two together. Okay, so we're going to do it this way. We're going to add 73 plus 76. What does that equal? Because we know two out of the three angles. What does it equal? Good, 149 degrees. Now, we need to, we, need, we know that all three angles add up to 180, so we want to know what's missing. So what's the last step? Uh, Julia said it, 180, subtract, subtract 149. 31. That equals 31. 31 degrees. That means that angle C is 31 degrees. And we can check. Is it true? Let's add them. 76 plus 73 plus 31. That should equal how much? 180. Good. 679, 10, 14, 15, 180 degrees. So, yes, that is correct. The missing angle is 31 degrees. Okay, well, in this example, we're given this angle is 76 degrees. Shh. And you're given this symbol. What does this represent? Yes. A right angle, are we listening? Okay, I'm gonna stop. Okay, you're given the symbol. This is a right angle. How many degrees is a right angle? You should know this from grade six. 90 degrees. So how would we find the missing angle? Yes. Good. Then subtract that from 180. So what's 76 plus 90? 166. And what's 180 minus 166? 14 degrees. So the missing angle, which is L, is 14 degrees. This is L, K, J. An equilateral triangle, what does that mean? That all the sides are, so this side is equal to this side, to that side. If all, if all of the sides are equal, that means all of the interior angles are equal. So if this is labeled S, this is S, and this is S. Every single angle has to be equal because it's an equilateral triangle. Well, what's the total degrees? What is the sum of the interior angles equal? Okay. And how many angles is it made up of? And if all three angles are the same, how would you calculate the measure of one angle? Divided by three. Good. Divided by three because you're dividing the triangle up into three equal angles. So it, who's correct? Good. So each angle is 60 degrees. 60. So again, we're looking at triangles. To determine an exterior angle of a triangle, what does exterior mean? Inside the triangle or outside the triangle? Outside. So in this example, we want to find angle C, which is this. Outside, the exterior angle C. It's actually A, C, D. That's how we would label it, A, C, D, which is this angle. 
Now, there is a rule. There's a property that applies to a triangle. I'm going to get you guys to copy this down, and then I'll explain it. Okay, so this rule says that the sum, what does sum mean again? Addition. Of the two opposing angles. Sorry, I should say the two opposing interior angles. That's what I meant to write. The two opposing interior angles. There's three angles in a triangle. Which angles are opposing, which means opposite, this angle? Would you say it's angle A, B, or C? Which angles are opposite angle C? Angle A? It's not touching it. And is it, would it be B or C? B. Okay. So those are the two opposite angles, or the opposing interior angles, right? The sum of those two angles is equal to the exterior angle. That's it. So if I take A plus B, it's always going to be equal to the exterior angle. Does that make sense? Yes. The sum of the two opposing interior angles will be equal to the angle that's outside the triangle, that's opposite from them. Again, you're using the rule. The sum of the two interior angles, so this angle plus this angle, is always going to give you the exterior angle. Okay, so how would I find the exterior angle? The sum of, how do I find the sum of A and B? What do I do? 48 plus, 48 plus 83 equals this, C. Okay, so 48 plus 83 is what? 131 degrees. That gives us angle C, so this is 131 degrees. So the two interior angles will always equal the exterior angle. So let's try another example. Good, we're going to add 30 degrees plus 80 degrees, and that will give us angle X. So what's 30 plus 80? So angle X equals 110 degrees. So in this one, we know that X, look here please, plus 67 equals 133. How do you solve for X? I'm asking Lorena. Good, what's 133 minus 67? 66 degrees, that means angle X is 66 degrees. The thing you learned on Friday was that anytime you have angles on a straight line, so here's my straight line, look here please. If I add the two angles together, so if I add this angle, let's call that A, and B, what do they always add up to on a straight line? 180 degrees. It's, it's a semicircle. It's half of a circle. A circle's 360, half of it's 180. So A plus B equals 180. So look at this example. If this is the line, I'm going to draw it here, and this angle is 49 degrees, how would you find angle X? Yes, Danica. 180 take away 49 equals, what's x equal to? That's going to give us x. 131. Yes. x equals 131 degrees, and they've done that here. Okay? 131. Okay, so all the rules I'm about to show you only apply when you have two parallel lines, okay, so this indicates that these two lines are parallel. What does parallel mean? So it, this, these rules apply when you have two parallel lines that are formed by a transversal. That's a line that goes through two parallel lines. That's all that means, okay? So this is called a transversal. So you should be writing this down in your notes that one. This one is alternate angles are Z pattern. So I want you to draw the letter Z. I'm going to draw it like this, Z. I did this on Friday with you. 
if two angles are alternating. That means they can be formed by a Z. I have this angle and this angle. Yes. Alternate angles are equal. That's it. That's all you need to know. If you can write the letter Z, you look for angles that are alternating. So you can write it this way as well. I can write a backwards Z like this. That means that this angle here would be equal to this angle here. I'm color coding them for you. So if this angle here is 67 degrees, what's this angle? This angle is 67 degrees. Good. Excellent. Now, back to what you just learned about a straight line. I want to see if you guys can figure this out. Look here. This angle is 67. Can you figure out the blue angle? Both of them are on a straight line. What do two angles on a straight line have to add up to? We just did it. 180, good. So to get the blue angle, we would do 180 minus 67. What would it be? Yep. What's 180 take away 67? 113 degrees. If this blue one is 113, which other one's 113? The other one. Good. Alternate angles, Z pattern, Angles are equal, nice. that alternate. You already know about a straight line, 113 plus 67, they should add up to 180. Okay, again, we're going to draw two parallel lines, and they are um, formed by a transversal, and I'm looking at co-interior. This is called a C pattern. So I'm going to draw a C. Here's a C. Now, co-interior angles are not equal, okay? This is one of the only rules where they're not equal. The, if you have two interior angles that are formed by the letter C, does anyone remember what the two angles add up to? Good. So I'm going to call this A and B. Notice how 180 is probably is like the total for almost everything. A plus B equals 180. So, if angle A is, is 52, can you find angle A? How? Subtract it from 180. 180 minus 52 equals, that will give us angle A, because the two angles have to add up to 180. What is it, angle A equal to? 128 degrees, 128 plus 52 is 180. Good. Corresponding angles form an F pattern. So let's draw the letter F. Okay. Corresponding means that the angles are in the same position. They're not alternating, they're in the same position. So look at my diagram. If I indicate this angle here, it's the angle underneath my parallel line. The angle that would be corresponding to that in the same position would be the angle underneath the other parallel line. Do you see that? Do you see the F? Yes. Can I draw a backwards F this way? Yes. yes. This angle here would be equal to this angle here. Corresponding angles are equal. If you know one, you know the other. And if you know one angle on a straight line, you can figure out the other angle on the straight line. So if angle F is 72 degrees, this blue one, then this would also be 72 degrees. What would the purple angle be? What, does the blue, what do the blue angle and the purple angle have to add up to? Good. What's 180 minus 72? 108. You guys are on the ball. Equals 108. If this is 108... This one is also 108. See how you can figure out all the missing angles? Yes. Let me test you. Let me test your knowledge. Yeah. Let's find a C. Can you make a C? A C so what's this angle gonna be? What do yeah. the two angles inside a C have to add up to? 72. What do they have to add up to? 180. So 72 plus what is 180? Um, 180. 108. We just did it, and that also brings us to the last rule, which was. Alternating, look, this and this angle, the purple angle and the yellow angle are alternating. They form a Z. Look at all the letters in there. See? And then here's an, another Z, 72 and 72. That's nice. 
and a C inside. You can fill in the entire thing. Think of it like a puzzle. Easiest one. Opposite angles are always? Congruent? Yes, which is equal. If you know this angle, the angle opposite to that would be the same. Uh, is 74 degrees. The angle opposite to that would be 74 degrees. Now I'm gonna ask you a challenge question. This summarizes everything you've learned. Look here, please. Look here. Here's a straight line. Look at this straight line. So my pink or red angle, and I'm gonna draw a blue angle. What do those two angles have to add up to? No, these two angles, red plus blue is 180. Good. So what's the blue angle? What's the blue angle? 180 minus 74, because those two angles have to add up to 180. So if this is 106, we just learned that opposite angles are equal, then this would be 106. Can you... Okay, this would be 106, which gives you the last rule. What shape does this form? A circle. I want you to tell me what do all angles in a circle equal? I want you to add them up. What do you get? 74 plus 106 plus 74 plus 106, 360 degrees. That's 